Hello, hello, welcome back. Today I will be making another ab tutorial because I feel like my old ones are outdated enough. And you, I need to clarify some things because I have made a lot of mistakes in old tutorials. Okay, so firstly, let's go put the model R OCs in. Depends on you, but just so you know, clothing affects the way your body looks. So yeah, just, just, just watch out for that. If you're drawing abs over clothes, just don't fully detail them. Or it will look ugly unless the shirt is tight. So first, what we're going to do with this character is buff him out a bit. Like, make his body appear more buff. Because it would look weird if he was just like, you know. It would look weird if he was a bit unproportional. So let's just make him a bit buff. Now, that's already an improvement. From the twink body that Gotcha gives us. So, what we're gonna do is we're gonna do something really fun. Yes, you've heard me. Fun. So, just like what people tell, like, oh my god, waffles. Yes. We are gonna start with waffles. But first, you want to section the abs. So, like, middleize the body. Like, yeah, do that. Just middle. Add where the middle is. Since, since the muscle affects the titties here, oh my god, did I just say titties, I mean pecs, the pecs, like, mm, add that b bump, because it's there, if you look at the reference, there's a little bump there, so we're gonna be adding that, just for realism, so make sure to, just to make it look normal, you have to, like, match the line weight that Gotcha has, but I usually t like to make it like a little bit lesser than that and go back to our lower layer where we put guidelines on it. So you can see where the, there's like a little inch of the armpit. So let's say this is the armpit. Since that's where the lines are, we're going to add a little bump here and it also matches here. These are the shoulders. And I mean the deltoid muscle shoulders. Mm, there's a little line here. Uh, we need to add this, which is your collarbone. You can't have it. A little line there, so we'd have a defined neck because it would look weird if we didn't. Now, the rest is just. Yeah, just detailing. Also, make sure that this has a line here. It's called the love handles. You can see it on the reference over there. So add love handles. It's just a little boink and doink. Boink and doink. Make sure it lines up to the crotch area of the character because it would look great if you didn't. You have to make that bulge out a little bit later. Oh my god, I am so sorry for saying that. Now, line, line, and line. And another line. Now it looks a little bit too big since we did base it off. I'm gonna make it a bit smaller to make it more proportional. It's a bit too big for my liking, so yeah. I don't really like it that big because, you know. <laughs> okay, the adult jokes out of the way, just make it a little less smaller. So we can add the rib cage skeletons over here. And line there. Make this more angular. And we're done. You just have to trace that out with a seventy. Hmm, seventy is too much. Probably an eighty. A 70. Yeah, 70 isn't just right. So we're just gonna want to trace it. But since gravity also affects... But I still will add nipples for the realism because I do not want to live leave little nippies out. Ouch. Still getting bit by mosquitoes. 
They shouldn't have records in my room. You can now delete the lower layer, add another layer, so you can shade it and lower this again so we can color it properly. So since the gotcha is already filled out a lot, you can just have like small little details that are protruding out of the body. You can just color that a bit like that. Then cleanup time, we're gonna erase some of the parts that aren't in the body. Okay, that's better. Now get back to here. Ah, I just, oh my god. And... Okay, we should be done. You have a muscular body. And for the next tutorial, which will be in part two, because I don't really want to fit two videos and it's going to be too long.